How do you know all this? What are you, some kind of real estate agent? Oh, he's a realtor. There is a difference somehow. 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 <laughs> We're back with the clip from Modern Family, setting us up for today's consumer. By the way, that show never gets old. Never. Never. Uh, there's some new rules that are about to kick in, rules that are going to change the real estate landscape for both buyers and sellers, and they could potentially mean thousands of dollars in savings. NBC's business correspondent Brian Chung is here with everything we need to know. So all of this is happening, this big change is coming, and this has to do with commissions, and somehow we're going to save money. <laughs> yeah, so this follows a big settlement from the National Association of Realtors earlier in the spring. The bottom line here is that it's going to give home sellers a lot more transparency and negotiation power into the fees that they pay when they sell their home. So if we just back up, basically, if you sold your home, you might be familiar with the maybe 5 to 6% commission that you'll pay for that. Well, usually the way that works is that the agent for the seller is going to split that 5 to 6% mm -hmm. bounty with the agent of the buyer yeah. that ultimately buys the home. Well, now they're going to have to be more upfront about how those fees are negotiated, which means if you're a home seller, you might be able to say, you know what? I don't really want to work with this agent unless I can get maybe a 4 or 5% commission, which oh. is one reason why agents are telling us and experts are telling us, well, this could in some cases lower the fees that sellers will pay. And again, this takes effect beginning on Saturday. So if, if you're a home seller, how much potentially could you save? And if you're a home buyer, how much potentially could mm -hmm. you save? Yeah, Craig, this could be thousands of dollars. So if mm -hmm. we do the math here, I am the data correspondent after all, right? If you're going to sell a home that's $300,000 and you're going to pay a 6% commission on that, well, that'd be $18,000. Mm -hmm. But if you're able to negotiate, let's say, for example, a 3% fee, well, then that would go down to $9,000. That'd be a $9,000 savings, again, if you're able to negotiate that. And again, that could be some real savings for those that are trying to sell into this pretty difficult market. So then let's look at the bigger picture then. What does that mean for the housing market overall? Yeah, well, when we talk about the housing market, first off, well, you know, buyers are going to have to be aware of this change as well, because in some cases, maybe the seller says, I want the buyer to be on the hook. So they're going to see some paperwork in some cases from their agent just to even see a house that's upfront about saying, all right, Here's how much you could mm -hmm. uh, be on the hook for, if any, uh, when it comes to these fees. But in this market right now, it's still pretty much a, a cold market, right? High mortgage rates have been the big story. But the good news, mortgage rates have also come down. It was something around 7.8% just as recently as October. Now in August 2024, 6.5%. Okay. Again, it's not 3%. But that's a substantial decline from that, which could mean this combined with maybe lower commission fees yeah. might be a good time to so sell I'm a house. sure real estate agents aren't happy about this whole yeah, thing. Yeah, I was just going to ask. Yeah, well, look, when it comes to kind of the fallout from all of this, yeah. it does certainly seem that on the buyer's agent side, it's going to be a little bit rough because, again, they're going to have to ask people just yeah. to even see a house that you got to sign all this paperwork if your state doesn't already require that right now. But on the buyer's or on the seller's agent side, they're saying, look, we're still going to work and offer services that will uh, try to justify a 6% mm -hmm. fee. But again, it gives a little bit more negotiating sure. power to the seller to decide how much they pay. Let's okay. end where we started. Does Brian Chung know the difference between a real estate agent <laughs> and, and a real estate They both have R-E-A-L in them. <laughs> there, so you there, 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 you go, go, right? there you go. Is uh, there, there a you, difference? Thanks, Brian. All Thank you. right. We're about to get some emails, I Let, guarantee you. For exactly. sure. I'm sure there's a will. difference. I think there there's some licenses involved. <laughs> yes. Yes. Okay. yes. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.